the finals just got a major brand new update 2.4.0 and with that we have a brand new community event as well as what looks like to be a potential new game mode we got the new store refresh and some new bundles as well as some major changes to circuit mode that you're gonna like and even the way they're changing ranked for pc and console we got a ton to talk about what's up world it's utopia back in with another video today we're checking out all things the final okay so as always let's just jump right into the patch notes we'll get into those opening statements now as always they have a discord opening statement that is slightly different from the opening statement on the patch notes so here we do have embark oscar giving us that discord opening statement who we went on here to say this week we're kicking off our second community event we're challenging all of you to push the platform in power shift 10 times a around the world. In addition to the event, we're bringing you an update full of quality of life improvements and a new contract highlight feature. Solo Banquet is now in private matches and they're including a lot of bug fixes. And actually with the patch notes, there isn't much of an opening statement here, more so just jumping right into the community event. Where they went on here to say it's time to work together as a community for a special prize. And again, they reiterate that they want you to push the platform around the world 10 times. Where they do show off this historical hi-fi boombox that you can wear in the arena. I'm guessing this item will be like a pet and go on your shoulder. At least that would be what I would seemingly guess for all the skins of course it could go on your back or your hip like the backpack obviously some different options that might be potentially possible there super highly detailed items this is gonna be really cool to grab they do go over a little more details over on the discord about this event where they go on here to say that the hi-fi boom box is the same as the hot pink color scheme as the wielding helmet event from the last time so obviously this hot pink theme will definitely match with other items it seems like with these community events now all you have to do in order to participate is make sure your team is pushing the platform again i assume as long as you play one game of power shift you will be able to participate in this both the community progress and your individual performance can be tracked on the leaderboard website as well just like last time so i'll make sure to leave a link down below so you can check your progress as well as leaderboards which currently as of recording this audio, it is at around 5%. And of course, they did say here that your individual performance is based on how far the platform travels while your team is in control of it. Meaning that if it travels a thousand meters while your team is in control, you get a thousand meters added to your personal score. So that is a team collaborative effort there that will apply to your actual ranking and actual score. Jumping over to the patch notes, there is a statement that they do have above here. Where they go on to say that players can now track five contracts inside the game. You'll find this option in the settings menu and you can determine how much or how little information is displayed. They also said that you'll see improvements on the backfill settings on power. Power shift. They removed that glitching UI when eliminated, so that people won't be getting that now. Now it was a bit frustrating. Really cool mechanic at the beginning, or at least a cool gimmick at the beginning, but did get a little tiresome. Which also includes a smarter battle pass that will jump to the current page that you're on. Now for gameplay, they had a ton of fixes here for quality of life. A big one here, which I think was kind of back and forth from the private event as well as the official release. It seemed like some people were able to interact with the goo, but now the dematerializer won't be able to actually interact with goo. They also fixed an issue with mesh shield while emo and a deployment preview of a placeable gadgets while you were being revived. Another major change here was that they fixed an issue where guardian turrets could target a player that was being defibrillated who are immune to damage. Seems like more so of a buff to the turret as it won't be targeting a player who can't take damage. At least a slight one there. This is a massive one that people have been looking for. They added a functionality allowing projectile weapons such as the grenades, RPGs, the CL40, etc. to pass through friendly teammates. There was a dev note here saying this changes to address the issues where players would damage themselves if a teammate passed close by them or right in front of them as they fired that weapon. It's a pretty massive change. I haven't seen a lot of games actually allow for that, so that's actually kind of cool to see in action. Another big one here is they fixed an issue where players using a riot shield would not trigger mines, which is just an absolute massive nerf to riot shield, although it was kind of an exploit bug there. And then the anti-grav cube was sending up barricades that could travel too quickly. For the modes, we've already gone over both things like power shift getting a better backfill and the solo bank adding private matches. Practice range also got an issue where mines would not trigger by bots. We had some general map fixes, but nothing too crazy there. The UI saw some quality of life updates. We've already gone over a few of those, like the tracking ability for five contracts and some UI polish for the scoreboard. We had a general fix here for frame rate, but this only applies to laptops for new installs, where they changed the default frame rate limit to 60 FPS. The dev note here, so this will prevent thermal issues, causing heavy stuttering on some laptops. They also updated FSR 2 to 2.2.1. The big one here is that the contract changes were applied now. So in one of my last videos, and basically all over Reddit, people have been discussing this win one tournament contract that was essentially causing a lot of problems with people that weren't able to get it completed, especially now that they removed the unranked tournament playlist. They did actually went ahead and change that, so there was a remedy there that I kind of went over, which seems like a super easy one. They changed it to 750 fire damage to opponents. 
that's in the circuit one stage three they also did a pretty big 50 percent nerf here to deal 5,000 damage with grenades now down to 2500 and they get 11 kills in one round down to six that's on stage four again we did have those security updates but that's mostly back end stuff and some error code fixes as well as those updates and further improvements now also if you haven't seen yet the finals does have a new intro segment it is fairly interesting with the video so far as well as the back and forth between scotty and june we also have what looks to be a potential new game mode which by the looks of it could be something here we have this new council thing that's sitting out in the middle section it does seem pretty odd that they would showcase this footage and it not be pertaining to something people have been asking is it not a slot machine from vegas however this is the cis horizon map it might be a slot machine from vegas but it is on the cis horizon map so it could be some new council defense stuff or even a new defense game mode definitely something unique is happening here and this could be a potential new game mode and again this does appear at the 33 mark on the intro segment there also is a post here for discussion that was pointed out by unit 00 so i'll link down below to that if you do want to have a discussion on this i'll go over this fairly quickly but they have deployed some back-end changes for the pc and the consoles this pertaining to rank and there's going to be a better mix going forward it is to note here that up until this point matching between pc and console could only happen when parties were mixed platforms were able to form before entering the queue so you really weren't seeing a mixed batch there However, now the pool between these two will actually combine. They did note that this should add for better quality matches of players that are in similar ranks. And hopefully this should help with some of your guys' queue times, especially in other regions. Really don't see this as too much of a negative as there is a lot of balance there between PC and console. Especially when pertaining to aim assist and a few other things there. And just like Apex, there is a good mix there. I've always had a good mix of PC and console in those ranked matches. So in my opinion, I do think this is overall a pretty decent change there. And should help with queue times as well as just getting a better mix of players and people not matching up as gold with diamonds and things like that so a pretty big philosophy change there we'll have to see how it all comes into fruition and how it all plays out now of course we did have those two new store bundles that being the via arena guard as well as those three weapon sets called the data breach again that applies separately for light class medium and heavy and their respective weapons we had an interesting post here asking about the store reset stuff and when we would actually see these skins that were featured in the trailer that we saw originally in season two the first one here almost being reminiscent of what we have now which is this sort of black swat uniform as well as what people are calling the goth queen or goth girl outfit here and yeah we haven't seen either skin so far people are wanting them pretty badly we'll have to wait and see if those do come out as store bundles or events more than likely these will both be in the bundles as we just had another community event post with a different outcome or a different reward overall this should be a pretty decent update it's fairly big with a new community event i'm interested in your thoughts with it there and what you guys think of everything especially the pc console stuff overall though that should about cover for today's video if you'd like a like like subscribe and until the next one deuces